the, the only thing that can be said, it was a wasted opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a wasted opportunity. I and mean, I mean wasted, like money yeah. wasted, time People, wasted. Time. People, People, uh, sure. It's just, it wasted the potential for our, our project. Yeah. It was just a, a waste. Like there were good things that came of it, but ultimately the movie was not one of them. <laughs> yeah, and it was it was a, a negative experience. I mean, actually, like it was not fun. You know, these on one in, in one level, like I'm not defined. Like in a way, like I'm not defined by. Like I'm proud of the stuff we made, but it doesn't encompass my entire life and my Absolutely. being. On the other hand, it, there are they are our children. Like these characters are real to us. And to watch it be dragged through the mud and, and the, the whole racial side of things was just oh, right. so disheartening. And, um, and our fans spoke up so loudly yeah. that we just kind of sat back. Yeah. And, and it, you know, I look back and I'm like, well, should we have done this differently or that differently? But it was almost like we gathered an army that screamed <laughs> at, you know, yeah. this guy. And <clears throat> it's heartbreaking, but... At the end of the day, it's not the first time it had ever happened that a project was horribly adapted in Hollywood. <laughs> it's not the last time it's going to happen. It might even happen to us again. You know, you, we never know. Hey, everyone. I just want to make a quick impromptu video because I got some really bad news today. As a huge fan of Avatar The Last Airbender, I'm sorry to say that today we found out that Michael DiMartino and Brian Konitzko have left the Netflix live action Avatar The Last Airbender project. And this sounds like another one of those Hollywood left for creative differences problems. Michael DiMartino wrote an open letter on his website early Wednesday morning talking about the live action Netflix series, stating, I can tell you that I'm no longer involved with the project. In June of this year, after two years of development work, Brian Konitzko and I have made the difficult decision to leave the production. In the post, he made this clear when he wrote, It might turn out to be a show many of you end up enjoying, but what I can be certain about is, whatever version ends up on screen, it will not be what Brian and I envisioned or intended to make. And then he ended with one of Iroh's famous quotes from the show. Sometimes life is like this dark tunnel. You can't always see the light at the end of the tunnel, but if you just keep moving... You will come to a better place. Netflix was originally committed to working with them to see their vision through on the show. But unfortunately, things didn't work out that way and the show is moving on without them. They wanted to live up to our expectations and have the same emotional impact that the original show did. I am a huge fan of Avatar The Last Airbender and wanted to see this work out. Avatar was one of the biggest things that inspired me to want to be a storyteller and a filmmaker. And to hear that this is going to be another one of those hits taken from the film industry creative differences that we keep hearing about, whether it be with Star Wars. Look at what happened with Justice League. Now we're getting the Snyder Cut, but a vastly different film than what we actually got theatrically. So I, I really don't know what's going on behind the scenes. The creators say that they still have hope for it, but honestly, I think they're just trying to be optimistic. I really think that if they left, there's a very good reason and we're not going to be happy to see what we find in, in the end. Um, and I think it might be good for us to fight to see if we can try and get them back out on this project and let Netflix know how we really feel about it. At least that's how I feel. Let me know if you guys agree in the comment section below. Uh, I'd love to have a conversation with you guys down there and see how you guys feel about this too. This is just, it's really frustrating news and, but let, let's not give up hope as fans because things like this have happened in the past and we got the Snyder Cut, we got Spider-Man in the MCU. The fans were able to save these things and maybe, maybe we can have some influence over the studio. Okay, with that being said, thank you very much for watching again and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.